Hi everyone, my name is Jaysa Sulit and I'm an occupational therapist at the Proactive Pelvic Health Center. Now, I'm also a patient. Um, August 28, 2010, so almost eight years ago, I sustained a spinal cord injury with paralysis from the waist down in, during a motorcycle accident. So fortunately for me though, I have been recovering well and I've done many things to heal and two of the things that I'm very passionate about sharing are mindfulness and medical Qigong. Now mindfulness, you may have heard of already, but there was a point in time when I realized that mindfulness alone is not enough. It taught me a way of being with the moment, but I needed a way to do. I needed a compassionate doing. And so that's what medical Qigong provided for me a way of responding to the moment in a compassionate way. So what exactly is medical Qigong? Let's break down the word Qigong. Qi stands for the breath of life. It's the vital life force energy that flows through all things in the universe, most especially the human body. Gong stands for the skill of cultivating, the skill of working with, so qi gong, or qi kong, is the skill of cultivating and working with this life force energy. Now, it's often used in the martial arts, but it's also used in the healing heart, in the healing arts, helping people to heal, and hence the term medical qi gong. Medical qi gong is over 5,000 years old, with growing research here in the Western world supporting its benefits, and it is one of the four branches of traditional Chinese medicine. Qigong, medical Qigong, involves the use of breath, movement, conscious intention, conscious paying attention, and often the use of light, color, and sound, which I'll show you in a minute or so. Now the goal of medical Qigong is to bring balance balance to the flow of this chi through our bodies. Because often, due to many reasons, this flow of chi becomes stagnated and we literally get stuck energy in our body. Now one of the common reasons that I personally have experienced is the stagnancy of energy because of the judging of emotions. So emotional repression, because I shouldn't feel this, or we shouldn't feel that, or we should feel this way. And so what happens when I don't honor and feel and express all of my emotions, all of them, then there is this repressing, a stagnation of energies in our bodies, hence the term issues in our tissues. Because remember, emotion is energy in motion. So emotions are meant to have motion, it's meant to move, it's meant to be felt and expressed. But when we don't have motion for the emotion, we then get the stagnancy of chi in our bodies. So what can we do? Well, I'll teach you something really easy. I love doing it because it's so easy. It's just the use of healing sounds. So let's go through some of the common emotions that we go through almost every day. We'll begin with anger. So in Chinese medicine, anger is processed by the liver. So the liver, we may not all know where the liver is. Let's just bring our awareness to the right side of your torso, just beneath your, the right side of your ribs. With the inhale, bring your awareness and breath to the right side of your torso. You can even bring both hands here so that we can vibrate the sounds that we're using out our hands to meet the liver. So as we inhale, bring awareness to the liver, acknowledging any anger at others, anger at self, guilt that we're feeling. And we're going to use the sound, shoo. Using the vibrational feeling of that sound to feel and release the energies of anger. Inhaling again, bringing awareness and breath to the liver and acknowledging emotions of anger with the sound shoo. One more time. Shoo.
really feeling the vibration of your own voice resonating with your organ. Now, the liver is also known in Chinese medicine to be the energetic container for emotions of compassion. So the more we process, honor, release emotions of anger, the better able we are to embody compassion. So we'll move on now to the heart. Bringing your breath and awareness to the heart. You can even put both hands on the heart. Now the heart is known to be the container, the energetic container that processes emotions of anxiety, overjoy, overexcitement. So as you inhale, bring breath and awareness to the heart and honoring these emotions that no longer may be serving us at this time. And we'll use the sound, ha. Ha. Really feeling the vibrational qualities of that sound in your heart. Bringing breath and awareness to the heart again, honoring emotions of anxiety over excitement and using the sound, ha, to release the energies of those emotions. One more time, ha, and so the heart is also the energetic container for emotions of peace, the peace that comes with feeling balance and harmony. We will now move on to the spleen. So on the left side of your torso, just under your left ribs, we can bring breath and awareness and hands here. And honoring how the spleen is the energetic container for the emotions of worry. And that's why we have a lot of digestive issues when we're worried. So let's honor the energies of the emotions of worry by bringing breath and awareness to the spleen and using the sound, who. Breath and awareness again, and feeling the vibrations of the sound. Who? One more time. Who? Now, the more we honor emotions of worry, the better the spleen is able to also process the emotions of faith and trust. Faith and trust. We're going to move on now to your lungs, the left lung and right lung, known to be the container that processes the emotions of grief and sadness. Normal human emotions, all deserving of being honored, felt, and expressed. And that is mindfulness, right? No judgment. So we're going to honor emotions of grief and sadness, loss, by bringing awareness and breath and hands to both lungs and using the sound like a snake. Bringing breath and awareness to the lungs and really feeling the vibration of that sound, releasing, honoring emotions of sadness and grief. And finally, we will explore honoring the emotions, the energy of the emotions of fear, which we all feel. And that is processed by our kidneys. So we can either bring both hands to your lower back, right? The lower back, often when we're feeling this everyday fear, it can manifest as lower back pain. So bring awareness, breath, and your hands into the lower back where your kidneys are, honoring all the fear that we humans feel, and we're going to process it with the sound shri, S-H-R-E-E. -E. Shri. Allowing the vibrations to break up that energy and release it. Inhale, bringing breath and awareness to the kidneys. Shri. Sh 
tree. And so the more we're able to honor and process, release emotions, the energy of the emotions of fear, then we're better able to embody the energy of the emotions of wisdom and confidence, which is what is also known to be contained by the kidneys. So those are the five main yin organs in Chinese medicine, which are the energetic containers for anger and compassion, anxiety and peace, worry, trust, and faith, grief, and integrity, and dignity. And the last one we did was fear and wisdom. So do this a minimum of three to six times, up to a maximum of 24 times. I do it every day, and it's a great way to take care of my mental health, promote energy flow in my energy body, because a healthy energy body leads to a healthy physical body and spiritual body. And remember, as you do any activity, always end with a nice glass of fresh water. If you have any questions, feel free to contact me at the Proactive Public Health Center. I hope you found that helpful. Thank you.